Good evening. Hello, hello, Oscar. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Bars and restaurants entice visitors and neighbors. Wow, you're practicing English. I can see, I can listen to what you are uh, listening to. Excellent, Oscar. Excellent. Hector says, I will be as a listener tonight. All right, Hector. Okay, just keep connected, pay attention, try to do your best. Okay. Now, if you want to participate by using the, the chat, will be all right, Hector. Okay. So you can use the chat, right? So you can provide answers there. It's not necessary, uh, let's say, to, to open your microphone tonight in case you, you are not able to do so, right? So welcome. That's quite good to see you. Okay, let us wait a little bit. Okay, let's wait a little, uh, a couple of minutes. Okay, I will, I will open my microphone at eight o'clock. Okay, but in case you need something, uh, just right now, just let me know it. Okay, puedes cerrar mi micrófono y la cámara. Y si necesitan algo, justo a las ocho voy a abrirlos. Si necesitan algo, pues solo me lo dicen. Okay, solo termino de acomodar algunas cosas acá. Okay. Hey people, hello, hello, hello. Now I can see that there are some some more participants over here.
Hello, Ronan. Hello, Gilberto. Hello, Héctor, once again. Gerardo. Hello, Oscar. teacher. Hello. Hello, Raquel. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good to see you now. Uh, I wonder if you want to say something just before getting into the class itself. Okay. Now, that's better, Ronan. Congratulations for activating your camera. I, I like it. I think it's better. Well, you know, Claudia is coming and also Serlim is coming. Well, I will check the list of attendance. Okay, so that, um, well, by the first time, right? Remember, I check it twice in the, during the class. And this is uh, quite important, okay, to check the list of attendance at the beginning and also at the end. Uh, welcome, Aidan. I have Aidan over here. I have uh, Gerardo here. Okay, remember to activate your camera. Okay, thank you, Sarlim. Okay, for activating your camera, that's fantastic. Okay, now, yes, I will check the list of attendance. Okay, just let me know if you're present, right? Adan? Adan is over there, right? Alison. Hello, Alison. Raquel. Camelia, say hello, please, people. Dina Maribel. Good evening, everybody. Okay, good evening. Uh, Gerardo Emanuel. Oh. Gilberto Antonio. Gladys Rubidia. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Gladys. Okay. Let's see, Gilberto and Gerardo, are you there? Yeah, Gerardo is there. Gilberto. Gerardo is there, Gilberto, I don't see him. Okay, glad you saw it there. Hector Salvador. Okay, say hello, people. Yeah, Hector is there. Uh, Henry Ernesto. Uh, Sarlim. Present. Okay, good. good Jonathan. Jonathan Josué, Mayra Norabel, Mayra is absent, Maria Elba, who talk now? Uh, Maria Elba is there, right? Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hey, Maricela. Is Maricela here tonight? Hello, Maricela, are you there? Well, Maricela hasn't come yet. Miguel Angel, Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Good, Norma. Oscar Josué. Present teacher, present. Okay, Oscar. Eh, Ronan. Present teacher, present. Fantastic. Salvador Santiago. Salvador, are you there? Vera Liz. Vidal and Claudia. Present right? teacher. Present okay. teacher. Okay, Veralis, Vidal. Uh, hey, Vidal hasn't come yet. And Claudia. Claudia, are you there? Yeah, Claudia is there. Hello, Claudia. Good evening. Welcome. 
Honestly. Okay, now, how, how are you today, people? How do you feel? Feel good? You feel good? Are you okay? How was your day? How was your day? Como estuvo su día? How was your day? Good. Fantastic, right? You were thinking a, a lot about English. That's the, I, I, I can guess that. I know that. Sé que han estado pensando mucho en la clase de inglés, han estado practicando. Okay. Yo sé que se han enamorado del, de, de, de inglés. Cuando uno se enamora, a cada rato le envía los mensajitos a la cipota o al cipote. Y solo pensando en él o en ella pasa uno. Y cuando nosotros nos enamoramos de lo que hacemos, lo mismo sucede. Así que me imagino que ustedes pues se la han pasado muy bien aprendiendo algo, algo en el día de, en inglés, por supuesto. A pesar de, porque sé que son personas muy ocupadas, pero sé que lo hacen. Ok, now I will start, you know, it's going to start raining over here. Pero sé que va a empezar a llover por acá. Espero que no nos vaya a perjudicar en nada. All right. So, uh, well, I will start as soon as possible. Okay, now I have checked the list of tendons. I will, I will move on. Okay, I will follow the same pattern. Uh, I mean, the same structure of my English class. Uh, it's been a uh, working well. So I will continue doing so, people. Well, we're going to start by having a certain review about what happened yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about preposition, is that right? Yeah, but what, what kind of preposition did we start yesterday, people? What kind of prepositions? Do you remember? We were talking about, what was the topic yesterday, people? Hello, hello guys, what was the topic yesterday? You have it doing here, what, what was the topic? How to use preposition of place. Yes, that's what we were uh, studying yesterday, right? So today, uh, well, we're gonna go over some exercises over so here. So, you know, in on at, now we, yesterday we, we said that um, prepositions of place and prepositions of time are the same. In, on, at, right? So, but over here we have a place, the party, right? So, and when we have in, on, and at, we need to complete the statement by using each of a, any of these ones. I mean, the correct one. So, are you in the party, on the party, or at the party? In the party. Are you in the party? The information is the top of the page. The top of the page. The top of the page. In, on, or at? 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 But listen, maybe, maybe maybe you haven't noticed about this, right? So we're talking about a page. So in, on, or this is at, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. So let's keep it like that. Vamos a ver si tenemos algo que corregir por ahí. Now the dog sleeping, the carpet, you know the carpet, right? We have in, on, or at? On. On the carpet. Do you live a house or an apartment? A house or an apartment? No? In, on, let's say in, all right. In a house or an apartment. Number five, she goes swimming the river. In, on, or at? The river in, in on okay in the river. Now we're gonna check it. Okay, so if we have some problems, let's go over and let, let us correct them. There's no any problem. Okay, so let us see what's coming over here. Okay, in the first one we said you said at right. Actually, 
It is not in the party. Uh -uh. You say at the party. Okay. At the party. So this is the correct. Okay. Now we're going to check it once again. And see what's going on. No. It's at the party, right? Now, the information is at the top of the pitch. Pretty good. The dog sleeping on the carpet. Good. Do you live in a house or an apartment? Perfect. He goes swimming in the river. Pretty good, people. So we don't have uh, uh, too much problems about it. So actually, we got a need, right? So here is at a party, right? So that was the only one. Okay. And tonight, tonight, we're going to go over something different, right? So... Well, what is the topic for tonight, people? This is the, the, the session number 17. So we're missing three. Tomorrow's class, and we're going to go over on Monday and on Tuesday, and the courses will be done. Okay? So, but what is the topic for tonight? How to use there is and there are. How to use there is and there are. Yesterday I told you, right? About the topic we were, we are supposed, or we are in church of um, starting tonight. And in order to introduce the topic, but it's also here plus quantifiers, right? So we will see later what's going on with the quantifiers, okay? But right now, what really matters to me is to know or to try to introduce the topic about there is and there are, okay? So, well, yesterday you did a great job to create, well, I, I don't know if you want to to uh, to present the information about, about your workplace, okay, about the map you created. So now you have the time, if you wish. Para los que no lograron ayer este, participar, pues si alguien quiere hacerlo ahora, lo pueden hacer. Solo me levantan la mano y pues yo con gusto les, les cedo el espacio. Okay, so okay, so uh, okay, so you were in charge of creating uh, a workplace. I mean, a map about the place you work, uh, or in uh, about the buildings that are surrounding your your workplace. Okay, you were in charge of explaining your map. With your partner. Some people had the time to do it. Well, today, if you want to do it later, just let me know it. Well, later you were in church of creating a role play. We didn't have time to do that, but today we're gonna try to do it because actually uh I will I will uh, introduce the topic by having a uh, I mean a conversation. I will present the topic by introducing this conversation. Now, what are we gonna uh, what we're going to be able to do something at the end of the class. We will be able to do something at the end of the class. And that is to ask and tell people about a specific location of places in direction surrounding what? Your workplace. Okay, that's what we're going to look for tonight. Okay, and in order to do that, I have the, press, the, the conversation then. We're gonna go over um presentation of directly about what is what what is the structure there is and there are all about. And then you are going to create a, a, the role play that's about okay, but by by including some information we are gonna go over tonight. Well, I have Will and I have Tanya, okay. I only have two people in this conversation, Will and Tanya. And, you know, you're going to tell me, let me see some people. Maribel says, good evening. Okay, Maribel, try, uh, try, to, try to keep in the class, try to stay in the class, okay? Now, you know, this is the first the first word we learned at the beginning of the course, right? We say hello, hi, etc., right? So, you know, in here, the conversation starts by using a question, right? Hello, can you help me? 
Where's the Millburn building? I don't live here. And then Tanya says, don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? The, don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Then Will answers. A girl told me to go to the buildings on the main street. Tanya follows. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Left side. And Will says, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there, is there a training center? Is there a training center? And, and Tanya replies, there are a lot of training center on the building. There are. There are a lot of training center centers on the building between Main and King Street. And finally, Will says, I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. So this is a very, a very, a really nice conversation. And now, let's identify something on here. Tell me, where do you see um, vocabulary we studied yesterday plus the reason there are? ¿A dónde visualizan eh, vocabulario que estudiamos ayer más las estructuras de ver y de dar? The, the <laughs> this one, the building is on Main Street. Remember, we, yesterday we were talking about giving directions, right? Building between Main and King Street. <laughs> on the training centers, on the buildings between Main and King Street. Very good. Providing direction, right? What else? The street on the left side. It's down the street on the left side. Giving direction. Very good. Now, what about the expression there is and there are? This is the only one. There are four buildings. There are a lot of training centers. And oh, here, you know, this is a question, right? So with the bird to be in third person is there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, practice the conversation people. Okay, uh, you're gonna repeat after me and then I will ask uh, two people to reproduce the conversation, okay? So that I can check um, pronunciation. Okay, everybody. Hello, can you help me? Hello, can you help me? Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? Where is the Melbourne the building? The Melbourne building. I don't live here. I don't live here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. There are four buildings. There are, there are four, four, four buildings. buildings. Which one do you need? Which, which, which one, one do, you do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl, A girl told, told me to, to go to the building. Hey, let us try to say it a little bit faster. A girl told me to go to the building on the Main Street. You told me to go. Oh. To the <laughs> let, let, us just, let us say it slowly. A girl. A girl. A girl. A girl. Told me. Told me. To go. To go. To the building. To the building. On Main Street. On Main, on Main Street. Street. Okay, now a little bit faster. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A little bit faster. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. 
Fabrizio told me to go to the building on Main Street. Okay, excellent. Very good, Jonathan. What about the rest? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Can you say it like that? Now I have uh, Maribel says, ah, okay, Maribel. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you, right? That is a page 41, 41. Just after the class we started, yes, I mean, the, the activities we solved yesterday. Okay, so quite good. A girl told me to go <laughs> to the building on the main street. Now, if you repeat that 10 times, 20 times, okay, and at the end you get the, the right pronunciation of the expressions, that would be really nice. That's worth it. Okay, I know it. I know it. I know it. It's down the street. It's yes, down, down the, street. the street. It's. It's. It's down the street. Down the it's street. Down the street. On the left side. On, On the, the left, left side. Thanks. 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 I have to ask you something else. I have to I ask something you else. something else. I have to ask you something else. I have to ask you something else. Is it a training center? Is it a training center? Can you say that? Can you say center or center, okay? Center, center without the T. It sounds without center. Is there, a, is, is there a training center or is there a training center? Okay. There are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of. There are a lot of. Ya nos quedamos. A lot of. There are a lot, lot of training centers. There are a lot of. There are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training centers. On the building. On the building. On the building. Be between Main and King Street. Between Main and King Street. All right, now let us say it a little bit faster. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are a lot of training centers between Main and King Street. Main and King Street. All right, now I have some interviews. I have some interviews. Oh, I have some interviews there. I have some interview there. Uh, thank you again. Thank, thank you again. again. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, I need two volunteers. Necesito voluntarios. Uh huh. Que lo que traten de leerlo lo lo más rápido posible. Tal vez no así este super rápido sino de manera natural. Okay, only two people, two volunteers. Two volunteers, who said me? Can dijo yo? Okay, only two, not everybody at the same time. Only two people, two, two volunteers. That we choose then. Two people, two volunteers. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. You were you you were doing a great job. No sé por qué les da un poquito de, de temor si lo estaban diciendo bien ok only two volunteers I need two volunteers in order to continue me teacher excellent that's Maribel right Maribel you said it ok uh, Maribel and let me see there is I need a I need a boy I need a uh, um Okay, now let me see Maribel and Jonathan. Good. Okay, Maribel and Jonathan. Well, okay. uh, Jonathan, you start, you know, you will play the role for Will. Okay. So here we go. Will Johnny? Will Jonathan? Está bien. Well, bueno. Okay. Um, inicio yo. Yeah, you start. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings with of do you need? 
A girl told me to go to the building of Main Street. Ignok is down the street in the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a, a training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Hey guys, let me tell you that you are improving so fast. Your transition is getting better. Okay, so but you need to keep uh starting and also if you say so in here, for example, interviews, you have to mention that's plural, okay? Build things, build things. Uh, let me see the, the I saw another another war. Okay, you say center, centers, centers. Okay, if it is plural, you need to, to pronounce the S at the end. Mm, and the other word is between, but that, ah, it's right here. Between Main and King Street. Okay, pretty good. Now, that, that that's fantastic. Okay, that is fantastic. Now, thank you. That was fantastic. Hey, uh, if you go and see the video tomorrow about this part, you will notice that you are improving and also your, your uh, fluency is improving. So hopefully later, hopefully later, um, everybody will participate, okay? It's because I don't know about, it seems as if you are, you are scared. Or you are you are I don't know you you feel you don't feel uh, uh, nervous maybe nervousness is a problem right se ponen nerviosos cuando hacen ese tipo de actividades algunos yes. es que quizás el el problema es que yo le incluyo la palabra así con fluidez eso quizás ya no voy a mencionar eso solo voy a decir participantes okay voluntarios y ya no le voy a agregar más Okay. Now, read the conversation again to answer the question. Now, how many billboard, billboard buildings are there? How many? Mm -hmm. There are four buildings. Now, there are four buildings let me see if, I, if if i'm able to work over here there are four buildings in the period right okay now i will get back and the next question is where is the building uh, no where is the building and where will wants to go located where is the building where Will wants to get located. What is that building? Between Main and King Street. No. Okay. Where is, oh yeah, that's right. Where is the building where we want, where is exactly? There are a lot of training center on the building between me. Okay, I have some interviews there. There are? Yeah, there are a lot of training center. Between, oh. A main stream between Main and King Street, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, what about this info? It says, pay attention, Tanya said, don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? 
And then Will says, a girl told me to go to, to the building on Main Street. I know, I know it, says, says Tanya. It's down the street on the left side. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this is the this is better, yes or no? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. the other one we can answer over here is the building is on Main Street, right? Yes, I think this one can be possible also. So uh, do me a favor to work in your document, right? The building is on Main Street. Okay, next question. Keep it in mind. Now, how many training centers are there and where are they? How many tra training centers, right? How many? <laughs> yeah, how many training centers are there and where are they? Uh huh. How many? How many training centers? Uh, yeah, that's right. Center, like, there are a lot of training centers. Very good on the building between now. Yes, right. This is the whole answer. Okay. Now, yes, right. So, well, actually, that belongs to this. To this one. Okay, give me a second, please. Well, this is the other one. Mm -hmm. This may be this answer. Okay, there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and Kinsley. That is right. So once again, let me see. Oh, okay, Alison, over here is training also. I hope it doesn't interfere with our class. Okay, so let us keep concentrated, okay? That that would be really nice. Do you do you listen to me clearly? Yes, I, I yeah. can hear you too. Okay, very good. I will I I will try to speak louder so that there is no we don't have a, a, a any interruption. Okay, so well, actually that is the information. Okay, um. I will go over the, the explanation on how to use there is and there are in detail. We're gonna solve some, some exercises there in a PowerPoint presentation. And later you are going to create um, a conversation um, where you are going to describe what's in your workplace. Because as you can see over here, the, the objective Okay, says that you will be able to tell people the specific location of places and directions around in your workplace. Okay, so, but besides that, uh, we're going to start using there is and there are, and, and well, that's the way we're going to work tonight. Okay, now, I will stop sharing this part.
I will open my PowerPoint presentation. We're going to have some review about what happened yesterday. And, okay. Once again, okay, yes. All right, people. Now, I actually introduced uh, there is in there, right? And just right now, we want to go over, sorry, uh, the information about there is in there, right? We're still uh, dealing with addresses and places. So I ask and tell people the specific location of places and directions around in my workplace. That's what we read from the PDF um, guide. Now, where do you work? Now, can you tell me, can you answer the question? Where do you work? Where do you work, people? Where do you work? That's a question, right? Hey, where do you work? I work at, I work, I work at, in a hotel, I work in a, in an enterprise, I work in a, where do you work actually? I work in a bank. I work in a bank. Sarni, where do you work? I work in a bank. Work in a, but you're not co-worker, right? Aidan, where do you work? Uh, Maribel works in Corpobello. Norma, where do you work? I work. I work. That's a. Okay, very good. At Fabrica de Olocuilta. Very good. Now, how do you say Fabrica in English, people? Why don't you look? Why don't you look for, for that word in, in the internet? Mm. No, not exactly. It, it seems to be like that, right? So some people get confused and they say, teacher, that is Fabrica. Now, if you look for that word, okay, it's totally different from the word factory. Uh, this is something that we need to learn also. Hay palabras que, se, que a lo mejor se parecen a, a, a algunas en español. En fabric, ah, es el fábrica. En factory, pues esto sí no sabría. Ah, bueno, entonces mejor busco fabric. Y se van a dar cuenta que no es uh, fábrica, sino que es otra cosa. Ok, y fábrica sí es factory. Fabric, factory. Ok, quite important. Ok, very good. Now, uh, let me see. Raquel, where do you work? Raquel, are you there? Where do you work, Raquel? Okay. What about... Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Sí, no la respondí hace un momento. I ah, work okay. at Sherwin William. No oh, sé si así se puede decir. Se puede... Se Sherwin William. Ay, correcto. Yeah, it's all right. Eh, Raquel says... Okay, I'm sorry, Rachel. Okay, keep connected, please. And, uh, you know, Vera Liz, where do you work? I work in distribution center of the Delco. Oh, very good. Fantastic. Now, this is a, this is a, one of the questions, right? So where do you work? Now, then yesterday we uh, learned some phrases to provide location, right? Uh, when giving directions. Now, how do you pronounce these people? Across How do you pronounce it? The street. It's across the street. Across the street. This one? 
on the oh. corner. Of, on the corner of this one? Around the corner. Uh, it's around the corner. Down the street. It's down the street. On the right. It's on the right. On the left. On the left. Next to. Next, next to. to between. Between. Behind. And behind or behind. Very good. Behind or behind. Pretty good. Great pronunciation. Now, just remember, keep it in mind because, you know, so, so there are, I mean, they are expressions that you need to keep in mind. Later, we study some uh, directions, right? Directions such as, uh, how do you say these people? Mm. Well, actually, where is it? Where is it? And donde se, se localiza? Where is it? It's on Clark Street. Wait. Yeah. Where is it? It's on Clark Street. Ah. It's Wait. down the street. Where is it? Across the street. It's across the street. Where is uh... it? Around the corner. Okay, now when you are asked about where is something, where is it, then you need to say it's. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's on Clark Street, it's down the street, it's across the street, it's around the corner. Now, where is it? It's on the corner of Smith and Mark. Smith and Mark, very good. Where is it? It's on the right side of the street. It's on the right side of the street. Where is it? It's on the left side of the street. It's the opposite, right? Where is it? Between, it's between King Street and South Place. Oh, right. So that's what we started yesterday. I'm just trying to provide some reviews. Okay. Now, I'm sorry it started to rain very heavily, but I hope to, we can continue, okay? Now, can you listen to me, people? Can you listen to me? Teacher, creo que está teniendo. No se le oye mucho. No, okay, I will try to speak louder. I will try to speak louder, okay? Anyways, um, we have the information that's going here is the information that you have in the book, right? That you have in the PDF. Then, um, what about now? Do you listen better to me? There is. Teacher, yeah. do you have a microphone on the... Eh, eh, yo creo que es por la cancelación de ruidos que se le escucha eh, suave. Ah, ok, ya, yeah, that's right. I, uh, I know, it's raining hard, it's raining a lot of in here. That's the problem. Ok, but listen, I have, if there is in the R, ok, there is, it's in singular form, the R is about plural form. Let me see. Okay, Bilal, don't worry. I'm facing problems tonight also, but with my with my microphone. Okay, so hopefully it's, I think it's better, right? So now listen, over here, we're going to encounter expression with there is. There is can be contracted and say there's. There's, there's no, it's a negative form, right? Now, and as you can see, an ATM, right? So it's only one, an ATM, a restaurant, a, 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 a recruitment, I'm hungry. There's no clothing, right? So clothing is non countable right? There's no country. Actually, it's talking about the factory. And on the other hand, we have, there are, there are a lot of companies. 
Plurals. Plural. There are some supermarkets. Plural. There are no hospital. Plural. So actually, this is the main or the key, right? The key. Now, let us let us go over some uh, some more like some more explanation about it. There is in the round. Use there is. Use there is with singular noun, singular. Use there are, there are with plural. Simple like that, okay? There is singular, there are plural. Examples, there's a small office. There's a large desk. There's no elevator. Now, and we also have questions, right? Is there a balcony? Question mark. Now, there are some ways. There, I mean, if you are asked about a just no question, such as is there a balcony? You have two options. Yes, there is. Or no, there isn't. Simple like that. On the other hand, when we say there are three large rooms, upstairs, plural. There are two windows, plural. Uh, there are no elevators, plural. Are there, now look at the question. Oh, here we have, is there? And when we have plural, four, we say are there, closets. And the way you answer is, yes, they, yes there are, or no, there aren't, okay? Now, when you say there is, you can contract it. I told you before, right? You can say there's. There is, there's. There is, there's. Now, if you're asked a question, hey, is there any, is there any coffee? And you say, yes, there is, but never there's. Uh -uh. Okay? Yes, but the, the correct way is to say, yes, there is. Okay, are there any are there any chairs? You never say yes. There no 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 impossible. You say yes. There are yes. There are okay. Now that's fantastic. Now any question? Is there any question? Now look at my question. Is there any question? Teacher, Tell ¿en me. qué momento ocupamos um, esto? Esto, ¿qué? El there is, el there are. Ah, ok. Good question. Ok. Podemos ocuparlo en diferentes situaciones y diferentes contextos. Ok. Siempre que ustedes vean una estructura, así como cuando yo les enseño, miren, Veamos esto de gramática, lo que hemos visto en in on at, ¿ok? Lo podemos ver en diferentes contextos. There is y there are es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Podemos ver desde un punto de vista de dar direcciones y decir, por ejemplo, uh, en la esquina hay una tienda. Eh, a la derecha hay una tienda, ¿ok? Ahí, en, ahí usamos there is. Lo podemos ocupar para dar direcciones, ¿ok? Y para que la gente se ubique en donde más o menos nosotros las queremos dirigir. Uh, luego, usted camina una cuadra hacia adelante, va a ver que hay un parque. Ah, there is a park. There is a park. Y más adelante, usted cruza, bueno, cruza a la derecha y se va a encontrar que hay dos iglesias. There are two churches. Ok, la farmacia está a la par de una de ellas. Ok, there are. Entonces, ese es un contexto. ¿En qué otro contexto lo podemos en encontrar? Bueno, cuando eh, describimos quizás nuestro cuarto, que hay en nuestro cuarto, que hay en nuestra casa, ¿ok? Uh, ¿Cuántas personas habitan ahí? O sea, es dependiendo del contexto, así lo podemos utilizar. ¿Ok? ¿Did I answer your question? ¿Respondí a la pregunta? Sí, teacher, gracias. Ok, very good. 
Now, estoy tratando que la lluvia no nos perjudique ahora. Ok, ya, lo, ya vamos a trabajar en algo. Ok, vamos a dar unos cinco minutitos para que ustedes trabajen en algo y tal vez en eso se tranquilice un poco la lluvia. Ok, aquí tengo ocho ejercicios. Eh, trabajemos los ocho. Yo les voy a dar cinco minutos. Ok, y me los escriben en el chat. Ok, para no estar yo preguntando así directamente con, con el micrófono, porque ahorita se hace difícil, ¿verdad? Pero trabajenlo ustedes, y ¿sí? Cuando ya lo tengan, el primero que los complete, colóquelos ahí en el chat. Y lo revisamos, ¿de acuerdo? Está bien. Ok. Let's try to five minutes. Five, six minutes will be all right. Ok. Lo, lo veo en cinco minutos.
Okay, quite good people. I was just uh, copying the information and pasting the information and that was fantastic, okay? This is the way you should, you should have uh, completed the exercise. I included like the contracting form so that you keep in mind that's important to, to, to remember that you can use both, right? There is and there's. Okay, there is, there's. <clears throat> there is, there's, okay. And remember that it's quite important to start the sentences by using capital N, okay? Any questions about it? Questions, people? No questions? No questions. Okay, now, I will move to the next part, okay? Now, over here, you need to, to write down questions, people. Questions in English. Question. A dance this weekend, what will be the number one all about? Como harían la primera pregunta? Remember, you need to use the verb to be, right? Is there a dance this weekend? And that question mark, don't forget it, please, because we know that's, a, that's quite important. So that will be the first, right? Excellent, Alison. That's the way it is. Now, do me the favor to complete the rest of the exercises. Five minutes more. Okay, five minutes more.
Very good, people. Excellent job. Something that I, I, I want you to remember is about including question mark at the end. Very important. Okay. Another thing that I want you to remember is to use capital letter at the beginning, right? Capital letter at the beginning. Capital letter, capital letter, capital letter, capital letter at the beginning. Okay? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Another thing that I want you to remember is that the verb to be, I mean, in positive statement, you say there is. In negative statement, you say there is no or there are no. But in question, is there, are there, okay, is there, are there, are there, are there, all right? Now, questions about it? Questions about it, people? No. No. Okay, fantastic. Now, fortunately, it's raining, but not that heavily. Well, I will, I will try to continue. Okay, thanks for helping me. Les agradezco que, que me ayuden y que, miren, avanzamos. Gracias a Dios. Terminamos con esto. Ahora, vamos a trabajar en algo más. I will stop sharing. Ahora sí, vamos a regresar a lo que nos estaba pidiendo el libro. Ah, por cierto, les acabo de compartir este, un enlace en el grupo de WhatsApp. Más adelante les voy a decir de qué se trata, ¿ok? Eso es, es una actividad para mañana. Ah, uh, well, vamos a regresar a lo que nos está pidiendo el libro. Espero que lo logremos desarrollar sin dificultad alguna. Uh, si ustedes se fijan, if you, if you can, as you can see in here, well, we started with a conversation, right? Yesterday we were in church of, of working in a role play. Ayer teníamos que trabajar en una conversación, ok, role play en un juego de roles. Ok, no lo hicimos, pero ahora vamos a amarrar ambas actividades, ok. Vamos a trabajar en un role play, en una conversación, ok, en donde ustedes pues incluyan el, el lugar donde se ubica su lugar de trabajo. Eso es lo primero. Lo segundo, vamos a trabajar en, en, siempre en el mismo, en el mismo role play. Vamos a crear o vamos a describir los lugares que están alrededor del de el edificio. Okay. Además de eso, uh, pueden incluir, digamos, las zonas de trabajo o las áreas de trabajo. Si ustedes no quieren decir cuántas personas trabajan en esa área, there are 40 people working there. Hay 40 personas trabajando ahí. Um, there is, um, there are, well, you can describe, pueden describir el lugar en donde, en donde a ustedes les corresponde estar. Si hay un escritorio, there is a desk, hay un escritorio, si hay una silla, there is a chair. Y, este, y eso lo, lo, lo trabajan en pareja. ¿Ok? Sé que ahorita, pues, con esto de la lluvia, no sé cómo estarán ustedes en cada uno de esos lugares, pero espero que lo logremos. Vamos a, voy a poner grupos de tres, ¿ok? Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. ¿De acuerdo? Yo les voy a dar que 15, 15 minutos, ¿ok? 15 minutos para que logremos trabajar en algo por ahí. ¿Ok? Sí les voy a solicitar que tratemos de no leer. Please. ¿Ok? Estamos ya por culminar el básico y um, lo que nosotros produzcamos, tratemos de no irlo leyendo. ¿Ok? De hecho... Las actividades que se nos aproximan, sí les voy a solicitar que, que no leamos, ¿ok? Que tratemos de hacer, de, de memorizar si es posible, de aprendernos la información. Ok, voy a crear los, los grupos, grupos de tres. ¿Estamos claros en lo que vamos a hacer?
Hello, hello. Hello, hello, people. No. No, no, no we're, we're not clear. Necesitamos crear una conversación. ¿Qué va a ir en esa conversación? Se van a incluir eh, dónde se ubica. Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, pueden comenzar con, hey, hello, how are you? Fine. Are you? Fine. Uh, well, tell me, where do you work? Dime, ¿a dónde trabaja? Entonces, ya usted le dice dónde trabaja. Entonces, la otra persona le puede decir, where is it located? ¿En dónde se, se localiza? Entonces, ya usted le da la ubicación del lugar donde se trabaja. ¿Ok? Ah, ya luego, pues, le puede decir, hey, can you please help, uh, tell me um, about the, the section uh, where you work? What's, what's about? ¿Ok? Puedes puede describirme cómo te va en el trabajo y la... Y, y, y a la la sección donde trabaja, ¿cómo es? Entonces ya usted puede describir cómo es el lugar, ¿ok? Por ahí puede ir la conversación. Recuerden, si se utiliza there is, there are, in, on, at. Y, por supuesto, dar indicaciones, dar ubicaciones en inglés. Ok, vamos a utilizar 15 minutos. Ahora, ¿estamos claros todos, chicos? Vamos a trabajar en, en grupos de tres. Ok. Si acaso tienen dificultades que, con, digamos, van a trabajar en, en grupos de tres, pero si acaso alguien tiene problemas con la lluvia, pues mmm, se dedican, digamos, este, a, a trabajar en pareja y la otra persona que esté escuchando, que esté escuchando y esté tomando apuntes de la conversación. Ok. A modo de que todas aprovechemos estos 15 minutos. Ok, let's try. Vamos a tratar, ok. Esperemos que nos salga bien la actividad. Okay, Raquel, any problem? Hola, Vidal. A ver si nos escucha o si nos puede escribir ahí en el chat. Todavía sigue lloviendo por ahí. Hello. Hello, Claudia. Yeah, it's raining over here. Uh, Aira, Vidal. Can you listen to me? Yes, yes. Okay, remember you have 15 minutes, okay? Recuérdense que tienen 15 minutos. Okay, Vidal dice que tiene problemas. Ahorita se le oye entrecortado. Bueno, entonces lo, eh, trabajemos y, y lo integramos luego, okay? Que a modo que hay que ir poniendo lo que van trabajando, quizás en un documento Word, o lo van trabajando en el chat, okay? A modo que Vidal lo pueda visualizar también. Ok. ¿Es Claudia? 
No. Sí, en vista de que Vidal pues tiene el problema de conexión, eh, creo que no, no se escucha, podemos... Hola, hola, people, how are you? Hello. Hello, Norma, any, any question? Uh, no. No, you, you are working now? Are you working now? Ah uh, well, I think you are in a in a in a phone call, right? Okay, remember you have fifteen minutes, people. Later we're gonna get back to the class. Hello, everybody. Any question? Maribel, Raquel, Gerardo. I think Gerardo is as a listener tonight. So, Maribel and Raquel, you can work together. Can you listen to me, Maribel and Raquel? Hello. Okay, Raquel. Well, I hope that you can uh, work together in the conversation, okay? To share it with the group later. Okay, Raquel? So, well, actually you're missing 10 minutes. We're gonna see later, okay? ¿Cómo le, cómo le podría decir ahí, este? ¿Qué hace usted actualmente en su trabajo? Fíjese de que yo soy, este, soy el líder de una área, de una área de, un, de de lo como allí hacen chaquetas, hacen chaquetas, uh -huh. camisas eh, de diferentes uh -huh. clientes, North Face, y yo entrego uh -huh. lo que es el, el lo, toda la que es la construcción del hilo. El hilo yo lo mando para las líneas para que produzca según el estilo. Entonces usted es como el supervisor, supervisor ajá, algo así, de área. Ajá, supervisor ah, de área. Vaya, entonces usted me va a responder eso. Soy el supervisor y qué, ¿cómo se llama su área? Eh, eh, solo le, le decimos nosotros la área de, de hilo, bodega, warehouse. Ah, vaya, entonces así, soy el supervisor de la bodega de hilos, no sé, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Es lo que me decir, respondería. Soy el uh -huh. líder del área de hilo. Ajá. Soy el líder del área, área de hilos. Vaya, yo le voy a responder este de la área de hilos le puedo preguntar soy líder de la área de hilos le puedo preguntar que si tienen muchos pedidos mm -hmm. And you, ay, chica, ya pasaron los 15 minutos. Hey, And yeah. you, where, where do you work? Yo le estoy preguntando a usted. 
Sí, yo lo tenía que hacer. Quiero ver. Bueno, la pregunta que me hace, where do you eh, work? Y, y, usted, ¿Y tú dónde trabajas? Ajá. Pues, ¿quién me dijo en Sotepec, verdad? Vaya, ajá, porque usted me pregunta que dónde trabajo yo. Yo le, le digo que yo trabajo en un banco. Eh, y usted me pregunta. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mayra. Any question? Hello, hello. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Yo me he escuchado nada, teacher. Hello, Mary. ¿Está lloviendo siempre allí? Yo sé que el se quitó medio la lluvia, pero no, no he escuchado nada y traté de comunicarme con, con Mayra, pero como quizás no me escucha nada tampoco. Ah, ok. So Mayra dice something. Ah, Mayra dice que está lloviendo muy fuerte. ¿Por qué no lo trabajan, digamos, en un, en un documento Word y lo comparten para, para, para que ambas estén trabajando en ello? ¿O lo otro lo pueden trabajar en el chat. Ok. Ok. Sí, porque yo comprendo. De hecho, acá se ha calmado un poquito la lluvia, pero igual sí sigue lloviendo. Ok. Trabajen de esa manera, por favor. ¿Saben que algo como para, para optimizar tiempo? Pueden buscar una, una conversación ya elaborada y nada más ustedes le van colocando lo que lo que ustedes consideran pertinente y ya luego solo lo practiquen, ¿ok? No, 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 tenga pena, Mayra. De hecho, si ustedes se fijan, mi clase, pues, este, uh, ha costado un poquito por, con esto de la lluvia, pero primero Dios lo sacamos adelante, ¿ok? Ok, dice. <risa> Tell me, what do you want? Uh, uh -huh. eh, no, 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 a ver. No. Quiero ver. Está, tengo un poquito de problema que ahorita está acá. A ver, ahí está. Encontré un archivo. Muy bien. Sí, una, una imagen. Ahorita voy a... Está cargando la imagen, ahí está. Ah, usted lo está haciendo en computadora, no, en, el tel en su teléfono. No, en el teléfono, ajá. Ah, estamos igual porque aquí la conexión está bien mala, viste, con los datos. Good evening, Jonathan. How are you? Good evening, Madison. Fine, you. I got... Tell me where you work. Mm -hmm. Sí, me parece. I work in a bank opposite the Cabaña Stir. Ah, y ahí podría preguntarme en... En... And you, where do you work? Ajá, uh -huh, en... Where do you work? Pero este... Eh, where do you work? Pero where is it? 
Eh, entonces, como usted me pregunta, pues, ¿y dónde bueno, está? Hagamos algo. Sigamos en lo de la conversación. Entonces, cuando yo pregunto, where do you work? Usted dice, I work in a bank. Y después, dejémoslo ahí. Y después yo pregunto, where is it? ¿Dónde está? Where is eh, it? Ajá. ¿Dónde está? Opposite Cabañas Theater. Ok. Entonces, eso lo diría yo. Opposite. Uh -huh. Is it opposite? Um, uh, is it opposite um, Cabañas Theater? Sí, sí, es cierto. Opposite. Um, y, and you, where do you work? Ajá, ajá, cabal. Aquí dice, bien, eh, entonces seguimos la conversación, ¿verdad? Eh, ajá, vamos a hablar de área o qué. Okay. Ajá, I work, I work at a software company. Okay. What? Uh, no, verdad. Um, where is it? Ajá. O sea, tendría que decir where is it. Where is it? Ajá, ajá, cabal. Where is it? Is y yo respondo. Is. Is on the whole scene. Holcim building. Real building. Uh, next to no next to uh, cervecería salvadoreña. Oh. Ah, qué interesante el lugar. <ríe> este eh... Y como digamos es un edificio, podría preguntarme, ¿is there any food court? No ¿Cómo? sé. Si... Es... Como, es, como, ajá, como yo le respondí que es un edificio, podría preguntarme, ¿is there any food court? Y yo le respondería que no. There, uh, Ay, no hay food court. Uh, <ríe> Se lo soy con mi cine. <ríe> Eh, yo realmente le escucho un poco así como que, eh, no sé. ¿Ahora, ¿ahora me escucha bien? Uh, es que... Creo okay. que el micrófono está bien cerca. Y bueno, como está en el teléfono, creo que a mí también se me escucha un poco así. Eh, pero permítame un momento, quiero traer algo porque necesito un diccionario o traducir algo para agregar un poco más. No soy tan eh... bueno en esto. Bye, Permítame unos uh, one minute, please. <laughs> okay, okay. A ver. Coworkers. 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 Mm -hmm. Coworkers. Uh -huh. C O W O R. Sí. Sí. Y tal vez ahí se describe también este que se dedica, o sea, qué es lo que se hace. Sí. Eh, sí, I, I am an I am an accountant.
Solamente eso, ¿verdad, Claudia? Sí. La palabra de Connie también puede utilizarle porque son como es decir colega, ¿verdad? Sí, tiene razón. Colega. Allí Vidal ha puesto uno eh, derechos dere para cuando se refiere a una cosa, una sola cosa. Derear cuando se refiere a más de una cosa, según me entiendo. Sí. Bueno, creo que finalizó el tiempo. Hello, hello, everyone. How's everything? How are you doing? Uh, stop training over here. So I think you can listen to me better, right? <laughs> hello, I... hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Good to see you. Uh, I, I could notice you were practicing quite well. Veo que quizás poquitos teníamos problemas con esto de la lluvia. Yo vi la mayoría de las parejas estaban, o de los grupos, perdón, estaban trabajando bien. Okay. So, well, I think you have something to present in the class, right? So, vamos a, vamos a, a darles el tiempo para que presenten sus conversaciones, okay? No, but I need volunteers. I, I really love uh, to have volunteers in the class. Jonathan, I think Jonathan wants, right? Are you ready, Jonathan? I don't agree with that. <laughs> you don't agree with what? <laughs> 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 eh, yo creo que no, estábamos en proceso todavía. Ah, ok. So you need some more time. Es que creo que, bueno, no sé, teníamos problemas ahí con la conversación y. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, con, uh, con, con el internet ambos y a veces no nos escuchamos. Uh, ok, ok. Ok, let's see, let's see if there are some volunteers, ok. So is there okay. any volunteer to have the, the conversation? Otherwise, we're going to have it like, let me see. Well, uh, volunteers for conversation, Vidal and company. Vidal, are you ready? Sarling, Sarling, are you ready, Sarling? No, pero. <laughs> no, but. Let's see what. Vamos a hacer la lucha. What happens, okay? Okay, Sarling, go ahead. Sarling, who did you work with? 
eh, Oscar, yo creo que vamos a terminar el, el curso trabajando. <risa> A ver, oh, that's quite good. Okay, so they have, yeah, that's right. It's Arlene okay. Oscar, right? Okay, you can start, people. Okay, hello, Oscar. Hi, Arlene. Tell me, where do you work? I work in a bank. Where it is? It is in San Suntepeque Cabañas. And you, where do you work? I work in airport. Where is, where is it? It is Comalapa de Paz. How many people work in your work area? We work 216 people. Ah, okay. Thank you. Hi, Charlene. Okay, finish. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, no pudimos I... hacer, ampliarnos en la descripción porque ya no nos quedó tiempo. Ok, but that was quite good. Thank you for doing board your best effort. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me see. Then, well, I will mention the groups. I have the, 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 the information over here. And then you tell me if you're ready or if you're not ready. Well, <clears throat> Aidan, Claudia, and Vidal. Not ready? Are you ready? Hola, Adam. Okay. Hello, Claudia. Hola, hola. Okay, Vidal, we can listen to you now. Eh, creo que Vidal hello. tuvo problemas de, con el internet. Hello. Hello, Claudia. How are you? iPhone, thank you. Tell me where do you work? I work at Sherwin William. And you? I work at ONG. Excellent. Where is your work location? The Littoral Southway, San Marcos Lempa, Bridget, El Samorán, Yuseletown. How is your work place? I have a, a desk, a computer, a how as a co-worker, I am an accountant with uh, 16 years of experience in the position. Fantastic. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Aidan. Thank you. Um, Vidal. Vidal, right? So Vidal had some problems. Okay, but I know that he was working with you. I could notice it. Okay, okay. thank you. Then we have Camelia, Norma, and Hector. I wonder if you were able to work. Hello, Norma. Hello. Pues yo creo que mis compañeros tuvieron nada. Okay, Norma, don't worry. I know it's it's been raining a lot. Y yo sé que está lloviendo mucho, ¿no? Okay, no se preocupe. Then I have Gerardo. En Maribel, right? I don't know if you could work a little bit. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Todavía estoy en la conversación, pero quizás si me pregunta algo pueda contestar. Uh, you're still working on that? Sí. Okay, now, now, keep working on that, please. Try to finish it. Okay, try mm, to cinco finish. Minutos. Yeah, try to finish it. Then I have Gilberto, Ronan, Veraliz. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Ronan. Hola, hola. Ahorita Gerardo, ahorita. Gerardo, sí, creo que solo nos escuchó, teacher. Okay, so try to do it by, uh, try to work in first then. Okay. 
Usted empieza, Ronald. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good with a lot of work. Where do you work now? In the Oloculta factory. Oh, that's good. And what are you doing there? What do you work for? I am the leader of the street area. Do you have many others? Yes, we have the lot of the layman that will I have to keep an eye on the product limit. Do you have a lot of staff in charge? I am in charge of uh, 80 people. We are a good team. And where is the factory located? It is a front of the Bank of America Central. It is with the OAT factory and some warehouse on the route de Comalapan Ulocuilta. Excellent. Congratulations. Good luck. Finish, teacher. Finish. Excellent. Congratulations. Good luck. <laughs> Okay, and I think there is a last couple, that's Mayra and Maria. I don't know if you could, we were able to work. So yes. facilitó trabajar. Maria? No, you were not able. To. Okay, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, now, listen. Well, before finishing, the, the 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 class tonight let me tell you something okay uh, mañana vamos a continuar okay mañana tenemos práctica de vocabulario okay con deris y con derar y con las preposiciones que hemos estado estudiando uh, por ahí les compartí un video un enlace perdón de um, un video donde se encuentran como las 10 casas más extrañas que hay en, en el mundo Entonces, para el día de mañana, yo necesito que elijan una de esas casas y busquen información, porque este, necesito que nos lo presenten mañana. ¿Qué es lo, ¿Cuál es el objetivo? Bueno, el objetivo es empezar a ver, o a empezar a utilizar más el there is, el there are, aprender vocabulario, ¿ok? Y, este, bueno, y saber un poquito más acerca de qué es lo que tenemos alrededor del mundo. Muchas veces ni siquiera sabemos de las cosas tan bonitas que hay. Y nos pueden traer algunas ideas. Uh, estudien pronunciación, busquen la, eh, la información, ¿ok? Para que la podamos visualizar el día de mañana. ¿Ok, Maribel? ¿Are you ready? ¿Están listos ya, Maribel? Ok. So... Go ahead, Maribel. Termine, pero no sé con quién me toca. Ah, uh, you don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, ¿con quién estaba trabajando, Maribel? Sola, porque se me caía el internet. Oh, sorry. Pero igual yo hice la conversación. Puede leerla, Maribel. Okay. Hello, what's up? Uh, how are you? Um, me puede contestar mm, bien. Thank you. Good and where do you work? Y me pueden decir cualquiera. Y ahí se lo puse excelente. It's a pleasure. Excellent pleasure. <laughs> Soy de buena, de pocas palabras. Sí. Ok, Maribel, no, but that, listen, little by little, ok. Little by little, we are just uh, advancing, we are learning. Eh, something that I noticed, algo que pude notar, es que algunos tenían problemas con la pronunciación de opposite. Ok, opposite. It's opposite to. 
Ok, so, eh, mañana tenemos esa actividad de, de este, presentar una casa que, que salga de lo común. Por ahí hay como 10 ejemplos. Mm, cuando yo he asignado esta tarea, hay personas que hacen como una maquetita. Si ustedes, pues, yo sé que ustedes no, no tienen mucho tiempo, pero por lo menos que pues, nos presenten imágenes, pues estaría bien. Información que encontraron, vocabulario que encontraron, que se aprendieron. ¿Qué hay dentro de esas casas? Pues sería perfecto. Así utilizamos el deris, el de dar. ¿Ok? Um, voy a pasar lista. ¿Me ayudan con la lista, por favor? Esperemos que mañana el clima no nos, no nos vaya a afectar. Y que, pues, tengamos un excelente tiempo. Ok, Aidan. Present teacher. Alison. Present teacher. Andrea Raquel. Camelia. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Camelia. Maribel. Present teacher. Gerardo Emanuel. Okay. Gilberto Antonio. Gilberto, are you here? Okay, Camelia, I got it. I didn't see Gilberto, okay. Gladys. Okay, Gladys, I saw you. Sí, pensé que se da mío. Henry Ernesto. Charlene. Present. Jonathan Josué. I'm Jonathan. here. Okay, very good. Mayra Norabel. I know Mayra is over here. Yeah. Uh, Maricela. Present. All right. Miguel Ángel. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. Ronan. Present teacher. Santiago. Veraliz. Present teacher. Vidal. I know Vidal is there. I know he has some problems with, my, with the internet. Hey, la verdad lo felicito por esa, por ser constantes en lo que han decidido estudiar. ¿verdad? Eso es admirable. Espero que de aquí, en algún momento me dé cuenta que ustedes están avanzados. Espero que sigan igual o que si es posible que el grupo crezca, ¿ok? Esto es sumamente importante porque... Les voy a dar unas claves. En inglés es como, como aprender Claudia. Se, quiero ver, Claudia. ¿Sucede algo, Claudia? Ya tomé apuntes, Claudia, de su asistencia. No tenga pena. Ok. Es, es como cuando uno quiere aprender un, un instrumento musical. Si uno deja de... Por ejemplo, la guitarra. Yo más un poquito toco la guitarra. Yo sé que con el tiempo, pues, se olvidan ciertas... Si usted se aprende una canción y usted deja que un año de tocar guitarra, posiblemente se le, se le olvide o los deditos se le pongan como más rígidos. ¿verdad? Ahí se le dificulte como, como seguir un ritmo. Lo mismo sucede acá con el idioma, es igual. Ok, María Elba, thank you. 
con el inglés es igual. Si usted no, no está entonado a escuchar inglés con frecuencia, no vamos a avanzar. Si usted no está enlazado a escribir, aunque sea un poquito en inglés, unas cinco oraciones, unas tres oraciones, algo nuevo en inglés, tampoco pues los avances no van a ser como muy significativos. Si, si no hablamos, pues igual no podemos, este, podemos tener dificultades, ¿verdad? En el avance de nuestro aprendizaje. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Y si no leemos, ¿ok? Pues igual siempre eso nos, nos puede per, perjudicar. Cuando nosotros leemos, visualizamos palabras que, que quizás nunca las habíamos visto, las investigamos investigamos su pronunciación y nos la echamos en nuestra alcancía del aprendizaje del segundo idioma. De esa manera sí funciona. Lastimosamente, vivimos en un país en donde no muchas personas hablan inglés. Entonces, ¿con quién vamos a practicar? ¿Verdad? Es bien difícil. En los lugares de trabajo, a lo mejor, pues, con el, tal vez haya alguien, pero con, con el ambiente laboral, seguramente que Quizás a la hora de almuerzo pueden decir, practiquemos a la hora de almuerzo. Ok, en inglés, busquemos algo en inglés, practiquemos, pero muy difícilmente, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, es bueno que, que sabiendo esto, que no, que no estamos en un ambiente donde se habla inglés todo el tiempo, es bueno que sepamos que nosotros mismos tenemos que buscar el idioma. Hay que buscarlo, no es como, no sé si ustedes han escuchado que las personas que se van para Estados Unidos rapidito aprenden a hablar inglés. No pasa ni un año y ellos ya están hablando inglés. Dependiendo de las edades también, ¿verdad? Pero eh, la gente aprende más rápido allá. ¿Y saben por qué? Porque todo es inglés. Miran para un rótulo, está en inglés. Miran, eh, oyen las pláticas de, de alguien, ellos van hablando en inglés. Oyen a un niño hablar, habla en inglés. O sea, es todo es inglés. Por eso es que las personas aprenden más rápido. Nosotros no tenemos esa ventaja, pero sí tenemos la ventaja de identificar esa debilidad en nuestro entorno. Entonces, hay, es de buscar una, como una estrategia. Yo soy cristiano, le voy a decir que es lo que sí me funcionó mucho a mí. Gracias a Dios soy cristiano y yo busqué sermones en inglés. Todo el tiempo estoy escuchando sermones en inglés. Eh, me duermo escuchando sermones en inglés. Y eso me ha ayudado significativamente. Entonces, quizás usted no lo lleve al ámbito de la religión, sino que quizás a la música, oigan música en inglés, este, oigan este, alguna charla que ustedes encuentren en, en YouTube en inglés, con los subtítulos, a modo de ir identificando palabras, sonidos. Son claves que, es, que, que yo he visto que funcionaron en mí y también he visto que algunos lo retoman y también les funciona. Lo más importante que yo considero de este consejo es que, que se estudien a ustedes mismos. ¿Cómo es que yo aprendo mejor? O sea, si, si Vidal dice, bueno, ¿y Vidal en qué momento aprende mejor? Ah, ¿Al mediodía? Eh, ¿A la medianoche? ¿A las 10 de la noche? ¿En la madrugada? O no sé, pero tienen que identificar los fines de semana, tienen que identificar los mejores momentos para ustedes para ustedes estudiar, porque ustedes se conocen a ustedes mismos y saben en qué momento pueden aprender mejor. Yo regularmente aprendo más en la madrugada, cuando todo está en silencio y cuando puedo concentrarme, que no me están llamando, no me están, este, eh, no estoy haciendo otra actividad más que estudiar. Entonces, ese es en mi caso, pero cada uno sabrá cómo hacer eh, para mejorar, para aprender mejor. So, son consejos. Me gustan los últimos 10 minutos, 5. Últimamente hemos estado invirtiendo 5 minutos al final para dar un par de consejos ¿verdad? de cómo ir mejorando. Um, ser constantes también es clave. No, por favor, si ustedes quieren de verdad volverse bilingües y este, tomar ventaja del curso, de, de estos cursos, entonces no, no los vayan a cortar, o sea, no van a cortar estos cursos porque allí lo que va a suceder es que su proceso se va, se va a pausar. Miren lo que dice Allison, está perfecto. Allison dice, bueno, hay aplicaciones en nuestros celulares que podemos utilizar, 
De hecho, hay vastedad de, de, de aplicaciones, ¿verdad? Hay algunas que son de listening, otras que son de speaking, otras que son de reading y otras que son de writing. Entonces, las puertas están abiertas a que ustedes aprendan cuánto ustedes decidan aprender. Lastimosamente, nosotros solo invertimos acá dos horas. En realidad, dos horas es poco. ¿Por qué creen que yo siempre les dejo tareas? Porque quiero que estén conectados con el idioma. O sea, eso me sirve mucho. Eh, y eso sirve para que por ahí están compartiendo algunas aplicaciones. Eso está perfecto. Pero eso es importante. Que ustedes se enganchen al idioma es importante. Le inviertan 10 minutos, media hora, una hora, diaria. Lo que ustedes decidan. Pero no se desconecten del idioma. ¿Ok? Porque si ustedes se desconectan y dicen, ah, no, yo hasta las 8 me voy a conectar, a las 10 se termina mi clase y ya estuvo, va a suceder que otros compañeros van a tomar ventaja del tiempo y de repente ustedes van a decir, bueno, y esta persona, ¿cómo es que de repente empezó a hablar más, a escribir más, a participar más? Si hemos estado al mismo tiempo en el curso. Ah, bueno, es que hay algunos que invierten más tiempo durante el día que otros. Entonces, es bueno que siempre mantengamos aprendiendo algo en inglés. No sé si hay alguna participación. Vidal, pues todo libro es bueno, Vidal. Si a usted le funciona ese libro, entonces ese libro es bueno. Todos los libros son buenos. Media vez le aprendamos algo de él, es bueno. Todo libro es bueno, ¿ok? No sé si hay participación alguna, algún comentario. Eh, recuérdense que mañana tienen tarea, tienen tarea, pa, busquen así en, en Google, Usted pongan The Queerest Houses in the World, Las, pero búsquenlo en inglés de un solo, no van a buscar en español porque eso les atrasa, el, 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 les quita tiempo, ¿verdad? Busquen así algo corto, ok, apréndanselo y preséntenoslo mañana, ¿de acuerdo? Ops, es cierto, tenemos pendiente lo de las ciudades, decir, las ciudades más populares del mundo. Ok, también lo vamos a abordar mañana. No se preocupe. Vamos a, a, a dedicar tiempo. Recuérdense que mañana es pura práctica. Okay, yo voy a, a, a tenerles por allí algo para practicar y ya luego lo voy a dejar a, a que nos presenten la información que han conseguido. Ok, así que los veo mañana. Primero Dios. Um, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody.